For the last two days, a pro-life protest group called Show the Truth has been protesting throughout the city. But many Kingstonians don't agree with their approach. There was just a lot of graphic, graphic pictures. It was not appropriate. They had like little kids and like 15 year old girls holding a sign. Like, I just, if they, they could put signs like, you know, if you're gonna have an abortion, there's other options. They can like maybe do guiding where to go, but I don't think those pictures are, like they're not necessary. They are very graphic. There's no way of saying that they're not graphic. However, um, this goes on and it happens 300 times a day in Canada and it's perfectly legal. And so we feel that the best way to show people what abortion actually is, um, is to show uh, what it looks like. It didn't take long for the downtown protest to get out of hand. My understanding is that uh, about a quarter after one, uh, one male party was arrested for mischief to property uh, for damaging the signs and I, uh, my understanding is that he threw some black paint on the signs of one of the protesters. The man who felt the signs were too graphic for children and the public was arrested, but not before starting a pro-choice movement. Lots of kids walking around, it's downtown Kingston and there are these horribly graphic photos that unfortunately, along with freedom of speech, there's nothing governing to make sure that these photos are accurate. And so while, while they're representing, you know, a 20 week fetus, it may not even be a 20 week fetus. And so there's all this misleading information that uh, is just being thrown out there. And a lot of kids are walking by and seeing it. I've seen women crying. I've seen kids, young, young kids that are just being shown this and they don't really understand what's going on. They don't have the information to be able to really have a, a, a informed decision. And along with that, they have young kids as well holding up these signs who also aren't informed enough. I mean, there are kids that are very educated in the area, but the majority, when it comes to their maturity and they're like they're like they're young, there's no way they can really have a educated opinion on this. And I just think it's really um, an abuse of your right to freedom of speech. They, they are graphic, and children do see them. However, we believe that the right of the preborn child, who we show in our pictures, to not be dismembered, to not be ripped apart through the act of abortion, trumps the rights of anyone, including children, <clears throat> to feel um, shocked or offended by our photos. Police say they hope both sides of protest will stay peaceful throughout the remainder of their events. Reporting from downtown Kingston, I'm Callie Warren.